Hey guys, good morning. Today is puppy day. I am so excited. It's about 7, 7.30 right now. No one else is awake, which is crazy to me. It's like Christmas morning. Why is no one else awake? Here's everything that I'm bringing for puppy. His little kennel, snuggle puppy, bed. Hopefully this can go on our lap and he can just be comfortable for the ride if he's not in his crate. And then a little blanket for the breeder to rub on his mom just to get that scent for him. And then we have some treats and a chew, his leash, some toys, this portable um, water bottle, and then um, these wipes that I figured could come in handy. And then also, just in case, we have some cleaner and paper towel. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in more conversations of Cause I've always been told that things will unfold If you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me wrong I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better I was never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever I feel so free I'm sweet This is the first time I've put him in his playpen um, And he settled right down, which is such a good sign I really want to get him used to being in here a little bit more um, so I don't have to just just crate him and I really think that how chill my older dog is is a really good influence on him and just kind of makes him realize that everything's fine and just kind of helps him settle down so he is just totally zonked out and I love to see it I really want to be able to utilize this playpen area a bit more and just get him used to this larger crate because he will outgrow that kennel that he's currently in in no time. While he is taking this little nap, I wanted to talk about how I've been working on just getting him used to being by himself. So every day since the first day we got him, I would put him in his crate. I'd always give him something really exciting like a bully stick, a Kong, just to get that positive association going with the crate. And then I would close the door. Sometimes we would sit in the same room and he would only be in there for a couple minutes and then I would let him out. And then other times I would go upstairs and do laundry and keep him in the crate. I also don't let him upstairs just because it's all carpet up there and I wanna keep his world small. It's only his first week anyway and especially until I can trust him a little bit more with potty training so really whenever the kids and I are upstairs doing anything I put him in his crate so he realizes that even if he's in his crate it doesn't necessarily mean we are gone he's not by himself and he's not going to be in there for a long time necessarily like I said sometimes I'll just put him in his crate when I run and use the bathroom Hey guys, so it is day five now with our little Cooper. Say hi, Cooper. And I have to say that day five is definitely when the real personality has been coming out. Um, this morning he bit my toe so hard that it still hurts as we speak. So far, ow. Let's give him a little toy. This is his favorite toy, I would say. It's one of those little skins. 
And I got one of the small ones, um, but I want to go back to Tractor Supply and get one of the long ones because his teeth are like little, you know, little knives. They hurt so bad. Potty training has been going really well. He's had two pee accidents inside so far, um, but other than that, whenever I get him outside, he goes right away. But, um, you know, obviously I just have to stay on top of it. And I have two little ones, so I've been doing my best. At night, he's sleeping in this crate behind me. I put it up on my nightstand right next to my bed. The first night, he was up every hour to two hours, and he did go pee every single time immediately, so I think he was really getting up because he had to pee. Even though I didn't give him water, I think, past like eight. They just have such a small bladder at this age. But every night has gotten better and better, so last night, I think he only woke up twice to go out, which has been really nice and he's really been able to settle each time in between when we take him out also I put a little chew in there um, he loves bully sticks I gave him this one yesterday oh <laughs> I gave him this one yesterday and he just loves it come here come here sit good sit so yeah that keeps him really occupied and I hear him chewing on that at night sometimes and then he just ends up falling asleep ah uh -uh, not my shirt Ah, ah, this. So he is definitely a little piranha, as you can see. Here comes my other dog. They have been adjusting pretty well together. I mean, Brody just kind of ignores him for the most part. If the puppy gets too playful, he'll just walk away from him. He's never really growled at him or anything. Um, which I do think since Brody has such a passive personality, I wish he almost would give like healthy corrections to the puppy, but I don't, I don't know. I've never ever heard him growl a day in his life. He's nine. So I'm just kind of taking control. And when I see the puppy just being too rough with them, with him, I separate them. But Brody's doing pretty good. <laughs> I thought he would love the puppy a lot more, um, but he just seems a little bit thrown off by the whole thing, so. What do you think? Do you like your brother or no? Not so much? Down. Good, down. Sit. Good, sit. Touch. Good, touch. Down. Good, down. Sit. Good, sit. Good morning guys, it is day six with the puppy and I needed to come on here and document because last night was the first night that puppy slept all through the night. We put him to bed around 10, um, so obviously we took him out to go potty and stuff before then, but he slept until, I wanna say, uh, when my husband got up around 6.30, so yay, I am so happy. He definitely has the most energy in the morning, so we took him for not a long walk, but probably like a 10 minute walk just to get some of that energy out and now he is napping in his playpen. He definitely prefers sleeping in here over his kennel, um, but I think I'm going to keep him in his kennel in our room for at least another week or so, but he's doing so well. It's really nice that I can keep him in here after he's all tired out and he'll just settle right down while we're still in the house. I also wanted to show you his little puppy paw prints. I wanted to make sure I got these while he was eight weeks old. This one obviously turned out a little bit better, but I think it's cute how we got one of each paw. And this is the no mess um, kit that came in our pup box. I'll see if I can link one down below, but it was great. It did a great job and there was literally no mess. And I think these are so special just to have. What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. Dream. 
end of our first week together mom and puppy it has been such an exhausting and fun and just exciting week definitely a little bit bitey at the end this guy is a piranha for sure but he's just so cute I hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful we have a lot of learning to do, as you can see, but I am so excited. He has been such a wonderful addition to our family. We all love him so much. When he's not being crazy, when he's not being crazy. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you liked it and follow along on Instagram for more puppy pictures and stories and all things Cooper. I will see you guys in my next video. His eye is like half blue and half like greenish brown, right? Both of them are like that. What's that called? Do you have marble eyes? And a marble nose? What do you think? Marble eye and marble nose? And a marble coat? We should have called you marble. We should have called you Marbles. <laughs> we should have named you Marbles. <laughs>